A reaction equation shows the chemical change that occurs during a reaction using the symbols of the elements involved. It also states the states of all substances present, solid, S, liquid, L, gas, G, or aqueous solution, AQ. Let's take a look at the reaction that occurs between hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. Here's the unbalanced equation. Hydrogen gas H2 and oxygen gas O2 react to produce water H2O, which is a liquid. The substances on the left of the arrow are called reactants. They are the substances present at the beginning of the reaction. The substances on the right of the arrow are called products. They are the substances formed during the course of the reaction. The G and L indicate the states of the substances, gas and liquid, respectively. We balance chemical equations to ensure that there are the same number of atoms of each element present in the products as there were in the reactants. In other words, if the number of atoms of each element is not the same on both sides of the arrow, then we need to balance the reaction to make it so. Let's go through the steps to balance a chemical equation. 1. Write out the equation with reactants on the left of the arrow and products on the right side of the arrow. 2. Check that the chemical formula of each compound is correctly written. 3. Look at each element, one at a time, and count how many atoms of each element appear on each side of the equation. 4. If the number of atoms of a particular element is not the same on both sides, change the coefficients, which are the numbers in front of the molecules, until there are equal numbers of atoms of each element on both sides of the equation. And 5. Run through each element once more and check that all elements have equal numbers of atoms on both sides of the equation. Let's balance our example equation step by step. First, write out the unbalanced equation. Now, count the atoms of each element on both sides. On the left, we have two hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms. On the right, we have two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. To balance the oxygen atoms, we need two atoms of oxygen on the right, so we multiply the one atom by two and add the two as a coefficient before the water molecule, indicating we need two water molecules on the right side. By changing the coefficient of water molecules to two, we also affect the number of hydrogen atoms. So now, we have four hydrogen atoms on the right, so we need to adjust the hydrogen on the left by multiplying the two hydrogen atoms by two to get four atoms. Now the equation is balanced with four hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms on both sides. Now, let's look at the reaction between calcium and hydrochloric acid. Here's the unbalanced equation. Calcium, Ca, plus hydrochloric acid, HCl, reacts to form calcium chloride, CaCl2, plus hydrogen gas, H2. Counting the number of atoms on each side of the equation, we find that we have one atom of calcium, one atom of hydrogen, and one atom of chlorine on the left, and one atom of calcium, two atoms of hydrogen, and two atoms of chlorine on the right. To balance the hydrogen and chlorine atoms, we need two hydrochloric acid molecules on the left. Now, we have one calcium, two chlorine, and two hydrogen atoms on both sides. The equation is balanced. Finally, let's look at the reaction between aluminium and oxygen gas. Here's the unbalanced equation. Now it's your turn. Pause the video and try to balance this equation yourself. Remember to follow the steps we just went through. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. First, write out the unbalanced equation. On the left, we have one aluminium and two oxygen atoms. On the right, we have two aluminium and three oxygen atoms. To balance, we can first adjust the aluminium by adding a coefficient of two. Now we need to balance the oxygen atoms by adjusting the coefficients. By adding a coefficient of 3 to the oxygen gas on the left and a coefficient of 2 to the aluminium oxide on the right, the oxygen atoms are balanced with 6 oxygen atoms on each side. However, the aluminium atoms are now unbalanced with 2 atoms on the left and 4 atoms on the right. 
So by adjusting the coefficient to 4 on the left, we now have 4 aluminium atoms on both sides. Now we have 4 aluminium and 6 oxygen atoms on both sides. The equation is balanced. That's it. Balancing chemical equations can sometimes be more complex, but by following these steps, you can systematically approach any equation. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more chemistry tutorials. See you next time.